It has been more than 30 years since the notorious case of a jogger being brutally raped in Central Park. The five men convicted in the case were all exonerated. And today, a sixth person linked to the case had his charges overturned. CBS 2's Kevin Rincon live from the courthouse now in Lower Manhattan. Kevin? Christine and Maurice today inside the courthouse. Stephen Lopez got something he's been wanting for decades, a small sense of justice. He was 15 years old when he was charged, along with the Central Park Five, of rape. But he pled guilty to a robbery charge, a crime he did not commit. He's often been forgotten. Steven Lopez was 15 when he was accused of raping a jogger in Central Park along with five others back in 1989. Today, dressed in a black suit, having aged considerably, Lopez was back in court to watch his conviction get overturned. Mr. Lopez, we wish you peace and healing. With those words from the judge, a sense of relief for Lopez, who stood up and hugged his attorney before walking out, having cleared his name. Anyone in that situation, knowing they were innocent, you lose time, you lose time with your family. You sometimes lose faith. His lawyer says Lopez thanked him as he left and can only imagine what's going through his mind. I'm sure that he's feeling a range of emotions, um, but I'm hoping today, at the very least, vindicated. The dismissal of the charges represent more than just one case to Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg. He says it's about making sure people have trust in the criminal justice system. Uh, when we accuse the wrong person of committing a violent crime, it means we fail to ensure real accountability. And in this case, he says it's about delivering justice in some small way. I'm sorry for the circumstances that led to this day, but I hope that this moment is a step forward for him uh, and his loved ones. And you might recall that eight years ago, the other five men in this case did settle a lawsuit with the city for $41 million. They had sued for emotional distress along with discrimination. Today, the lawyer for Stephen Lopez was asked if there would be similar legal action from his client. He said today is about clearing his name and did not get into that detail. We're live in Lower Manhattan. Kevin Rincon, CBS 2 News. Kevin, thank you. And I sat down three years ago with the five men who described being coerced into confessing. As soon as we get in, they separate us and they start working on us. And I'm hearing Corey being physically beaten in the next room. And I'm immediately beyond afraid. We're 14, 15, and 16 year old kids. Never been in trouble with the law, never had no police contact. These are seasoned veterans, 20 years on the force. This fight was fixed. It's a powerful story, and to see it, a uh, full story, and to learn more about the Central Park Five, go to CBSNewYork.com, or you can stream it tonight on CBS News New York at 8 p.m.